kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part four of my video series on uh, live camera filters using Android Studio. All right, guys. So now we will continue. Uh, in our previous part, we had done the camera preview class, and now we are uh, in the main activity. And here we have initialized. Uh, our uh, camera and now first of all we need to write the code for the color filter uh, here since we already have this let me show you here inside our uh, filter view uh, filter view class here you can see we have this color filter and here you can see we have this color filter here then inside this relative layout then we have here also for the all uh, relative layouts all right so for that let's go to main uh, activity and here let's have the method so first let me just close it okay so here we will have the method public void color effect filter here we will specify our view and now what we can do here okay so we can we first of all need to get the parameters and then we check for the button that like which button is clicked so here first of all we can say camera dot parameters and we can say parameters equal to m camera dot get parameters and here we can use the switch command and we can get get v dot get id and from there we can get the id so here we will have some cases so first one will be r dot id dot rl none R1 Aqua or R1 Okay, so I think there is no uh, RL None here, so let me see Okay, so there is no uh, None so let me Find it yes we forgot to specify the id so first of all we can say rl none and so here we can uh, write rl none and for that we can say parameters dot set color effect and for that we can say camera dot parameters dot effect none all right and finally we can say m camera dot set parameters and from there we can pass these parameters here and finally we can say break all right that will be the cases similarly for all the cases so here we will have r dot id dot rl aqua and that is similar so i will just copy that <coughs> sorry guys and for this effect so we can say effect aqua similarly let's just copy it so instead of this rl aqua the next is rl blackboard and there we can say effect 
blackboard then for this uh, the next one is the rl mon mono and for that we can say effect mono then for the another the next is the rl negative and here we can set effect negative then the there will be <coughs> another that is posterized <coughs> sorry guys i was not feeling well so here uh, it is rl posterized and so we can similarly say posterize then for the sepia then we can say effect sepia then we can we have the remaining two so here let's have these two so instead of this rl sepia we can say rl solarized and here we can say effect solarized and finally we have the rl white board and here we can have effect uh, effect underscore whiteboard all right and also we can uh, use the try and catch block and put them here so here let me first of all have exception and let's set all these okay so we can uh, put them in our try block okay so now we now uh, if the user clicks on the um, filtered button i mean here so now the uh, horizontal scroll view should be shown to the user so how do we do that so you need to first of all go to your own click method and similarly you need to use switch and you can use v dot get id and here you can say case r dot id dot iv filter so if the iv filter is pressed then we can say break and above this break we can write the code so here we can say if horizontal horizontal view dot get visibility and if it is equal to view dot visible if the horizontal uh, scroll view is visible so now we need to set visibility and we need to use view dot gone okay then else we can simply say horizontal scroll view dot set visibility and we can say view dot visible all right now let's just run our app and let's see if it works or not and so for that let me connect my phone and here we will have uh, let me run the app yes now the app is getting installed and here let me open the side sync and yes now the 
it is uh, the app is open but i am not able to see anything here all right so let me see what is the problem here we are initializing our uh, camera and here we have this uh, after we initialize this let me see where is the problem yes because we don't have the uh, user permission so for that first of all we need to have the permission so we need to go to our app settings and just enable this uh, all these user permissions and now if we open the app and yes you are able to see the preview here all right but we are not able to see this uh, these things because we have this background as white so let's uh, change the uh, here and let's have the background as black yes now you will be able to see the black uh, background with the camera button and as well as the filter button so let's see yes now the app is open and if I click on here so you are able to see all these the scroll view horizontal scroll view and if I click here so you can see it is hidden alright so I think that is uh, working very well now what we can do is okay so now in our next part of the video or I think I should complete it in this video okay so let's just complete it so for that first of all we okay so i think uh, we should complete it in our next part or the last part of the video that will be the part five all right guys so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye